Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a bread and butter Bolo video for you guys. I've got four, zero, 40 bit, I almost said big money, 40 bread and butter Bolos coming your way. These are items that I've picked up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sale, items that I have sold for 35. Ooh, I'm frozen. That's weird. Wonder if it froze. Did you guys see that? It froze on my end, which typically I can't see when it freezes. I was just like, eh. yep, that happened. Um, okay. So we're going to keep going because it's not doing it right now. It seems okay. Um, so I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. And we're going to start with a purse that I picked up at a garage sale. So let's head on over to those tabs that I have pulled up and ready to go. And we're gonna take a look at some Bolo items. And here it is. It is a Vera Bradley Poppy Fields Kiss Lock Purse. And this is a Kiss Lock. These little things right here, the little balls, this and this come together and it is called a Kiss Lock. Um, that is something I learned that I didn't know, so thought I would share it just in case you don't know. And this is a retired print. And I took a best offer of $25 for this and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold are these Disney pens. And these sold in um, the 99 cent auction challenge that I coordinated with like 29 other reseller YouTubers. If you guys didn't check that out, you definitely should go check it out. It was a lot of fun, but I just found out that the treasure hustlers bought those pens from me. I didn't even put that together, but they are dumpster diving gals. So definitely go over and check out their channel and show them some love with a sub because they've got tons of content. They are super funny and um, dumpster diving. Could you guys see me dumpster diving? <laughs> Look at this. Look at it. Just that's crazy. So definitely go check them out. And a special thanks to them for purchasing my um, Disney pens. All right. Those Disney pens were uh, 99 cents free shipping auction style. And they sold for $15.59 cents with free shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage Barbie dress, and it's not in great condition, as you can see, but you can still so sell these as TLC. I just put that in the title. That means that this item is going to need repaired, fixed in some way, and is damaged. Uh, I sold this for, what did I sell this for? I took a best offer of $8 on this. The buyer paid shipping. And I got it at an estate sale with a bunch of other items for about, I'd say I got it about 25 cents for that. The next item are these Octonauts. These are the mini vehicles and they've got these rollers on the bottom. I have never seen these before. Uh, they came from a thrift store. I had a quarter in them and I sold these for a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. I have sold Octonauts before, just I haven't seen the mini figures. so. I don't know, maybe they're rare. They were hard to look up to, but I finally found them. So just little guys. The next item I sold is this Easter egg and it's glazed ceramic and it's got the little clowns on it. Super, super cute. I got this at the Goodwill for a buck and I sold this for $16 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold, Loving Family High Chair and Toy Bench. Um, this is supposed to have like a little fork or spoon or something attached to it, but, um, that was missing. This piece was fine. Um, so I just decided to lot them and sell them together. Oh, it's missing a spoon. Uh, I sold this for $14 best offer and the buyer paid shipping and it came from a dollhouse lot that I picked up. These guys are Hannah Zuki, I think is how you say it. Full of treasure, Hemka plush. These were super duper long tail, like took forever. Um, I ended up selling them for $16 and 49 cents. And I had about 50 cents in them each from a garage sale and the buyer paid shipping. I'm pretty sure that's what they were is the 50 cents. Maybe they were a quarter. It's been a while. I've had them for a while. 
The next item I sold is this vintage Halloween garland. I picked up a huge lot of Halloween items in a tote at a garage sale. So I probably got less than a dollar in this and I sold it for a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage miniature dollhouse wooden, wooden dining table with four chairs. And I picked this up. I believe this was from the estate sale where I got all of the vintage dollhouse furniture. I sold this for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. For some reason I have $19, but that says 18. So I'm going to go with the 18. The next item is this vintage play school dollhouse crib. Now it is a little dirty and I did write that it was dirty in the description. And then I'm like, I'm just going to throw this in my dishwasher. So I did that and it cleaned right up. So I did actually clean that one up before I shipped it because there were three or four pieces and it's a real hard plastic. So if you put it on the top rack of your dishwasher, that works just fine. I sold this for $11.25 and the buyer paid shipping and I'm sure they were very happy that it came clean. <laughs> the next item I sold is this Peter Pan and this came out of my auctions for you vintage toy lot that I purchased from T and I sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping and as I've said in some other videos I do have a whole unboxing video on that where I show you screenshots of all of my listings that I pulled out of that box. So as I unbox it, I pull up the listings that I have listed and I pull up the solds if they have already sold. So um, it's a great way to see an unboxing, but still get some education or learn about some bolos, I should say. The next item I sold is this 2008 vintage trading pin, Dopey, the Seven Dwarfs. And I sold him for $17 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. And I got that at a garage sale with a bunch of Disney pins. So I probably have less than a dollar in it. The next item came out of a mystery box and I've never heard of bear in the big blue house. And I looked it up and some of the items do pretty well. So I went ahead and listed this item and I sold it pretty quickly for $27 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this activity book. I picked this up at a garage sale. It's from 1963 and it's unused. So super cool. And I sold this for $15.59, the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Esprit um, satchel. It goes like on your belt loops, like it has loops to go through your belt. I don't know. It's just, it's small. It's very small. I got this, I believe, at that garage sale where everything was free. So um, I talked about that either in this video or another video I did tonight. But you guys can go check out everything that I got free on um, the I Got It Free garage sale video. I sold this for a best offer of $30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage fish brooch. I think it's a trout, but who knows? Um, I sent my husband a text. I'm like, what kind of fish is this? He's like, I don't know. And he fishes, fishes, he goes fishing, fishes, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I got this from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay and I sold this for $14 and four cents and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this National Yarns Crafts Christmas Latch Hook Kit. Um, it's a snowman and I sold this for $27 and 29 cents and I bought this at a garage sale for $2 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this wig. This is a doll, a Barbie doll wig, and it's vintage. And I picked this up at a thrift store in a bulk lot of Barbie stuff that I bought. And most of, there were other wigs and the other ones sold quicker. This is the last to sell. I sold it for $19.49 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this J. Crew necklace. This also came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. eBay and I sold it for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage miniature skillet. And I got feedback I wasn't expecting on this one. Um, they said that they could not tell that it was chipped and I did not disclose it. Well, typically with vintage items, I mean, the condition is what it looks like in the photos. Um, if it's a newer item, I'll disclose it. But I, I don't know. I really, to me, it just looked like a vintage piece, but I'm guessing this is what they're talking about, but I can see that in the photo. So maybe they didn't look at all the photos. I, I'm not certain, 
but um, they still left me positive feedback, but they may have dinged me for a description or something. But I think that's what they were talking about, that little chip right there. So, I mean, I use photos as part of my description. I mean, that's like saying I have to disclose that it has that little area right there that's a different color. Like, I don't know. Maybe I messed up. I don't know. I mean, it's just a little bread and butter item. But I was disappointed that they were upset about it. But I sold it for $8 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Blue World Perfume. And I got this at a thrift store and I sold this for $19.50 in the buyer paid shipping and it was a dollar. The next item I sold is this vintage play school dollhouse uh, photos. They like hang on your dollhouse wall and they are so, so cute. Um, I sold these for $11.70 and I picked these in a, at a garage sale in a bulk lot of play school items. The buyer did pay shipping on that. The next item is this twirling ballerina Barbie keychain. This came out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. Um, her link is down in the description of the video along with auctions for you. Um, I sold this for $11.70 and the buyer paid shipping. And they do sell reseller boxes. So you guys can, um, if you're interested in buying in bulk, they do do that. Um, okay, guys, so I just got a message from this buyer tonight telling me that I shipped them the wrong item. I'm totally disappointed in myself. I'm usually very careful. I had a bunch of these charming tails and I grabbed the wrong box. Um, these are Fitz and Floyd. Um, they're super cute. They're these little mice. And I picked up a bunch of these at a thrift store for $3 each. They are selling really well. I do recommend picking these up. Um, mouse and a box of chocolates. And I just grabbed, I'm not even sure which one I sent them. So they have to mail it back to me and then they will have to purchase this again so I can ship the correct item. They were very, very nice, very kind. I thanked them for their under, for being understanding and for their kindness because they did not attack me. They're just like, I think you shipped the wrong item. So I went and looked and sure enough, I did. Um, and again, I don't make those types of mistakes very often because they cost me money. So, um, but thankfully the buyer was understanding. And this item I bought for $3 and I sold it for $23 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this waxing poetic um, silver charm 925. This came out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino and I sold this for um, $15 and 60 cents and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold is this Simpsons. It's the Reverend Lovejoy and accessories. And this came from a thrift store and a bulk lot of Simpsons items. I got a crazy good deal on these. Um, I think that um, it was too big, a tote in a box. And I think it was just taking up so much space that they just needed to move it out because it's not a very big store. And it sold for $24.96 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this plush Tyco puppy puppy puppies. This one is brown and white. Um, I sold this one for a best offer of $30. I picked it up at a garage sale for 50 cents. Definitely be on the lookout for these. They are a great bolo item. The next item I sold is this Lula Sky doll. She's a sleep companion doll and she makes breathing sounds and heartbeat sounds. And I sold this for $30, the buyer paid shipping, and um, I paid $5 at a thrift store for this. Um, if you want to see how this doll works, I did add a video to my reseller testing products channel. So if you go to YouTube and type in reseller testing products, it'll pull it up and you guys can check out how this doll works. It's really cool. The next item I sold is this Burger King Toy Story Woody Finger Puppet. And it's from 1995. This went internationally. And I got this out of the vintage toy box that I purchased from Auctions for You. And I sold this for $16.50 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these Muscle Men. They came from a garage sale. Some of these are a big money bolo. Mine were bread and butter. I sold these for $16.50 in the buyer paid shipping. And I had less than a buck in all of them. The next item sold super fast. I actually picked this up this weekend. Um, so it sold within a couple days. It's in a Longenberger All-American pie plate and it's a 10 inch plate. It's got the like flag type uh, stripes. Um, it's supposed to be like 
I don't know. What is it? What's it called? I forget. American pie. It's an American pie plate. <laughs> uh, let's see. What did I sell it for? I think I took a best offer of $25. The buyer paid shipping and I sold it for $2 or I bought it for $2. <laughs> oh, it's getting late. All right. The next item is this vintage sword and the sorcerer winged lion man action figure from Hong Kong. And this also came out of my auctions for you vintage toy box. It's got some issues. Um, if it would have been in mint condition, I probably could have got a little more, but I went ahead and took a best offer of $34 for this in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage wrinkles the dog. It's a puppet. And I took a best offer of $30 on this and the buyer paid shipping. And I can't remember where I got that, but I probably paid a buck or two for it. The next item I sold is this skull. Um, it's a, just a Halloween prop. And I got this at a garage sale and I did a bulk buy. So I probably got a buck or two in it. And I sold this for $13.49 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Girl Scouts vest. I think this came from a thrift store, but don't quote me on that. Probably had a buck or two in it. Um, I sold it for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Barbie. She is a special edition party sensation Barbie doll from 1990. So I sold her for $30 and I picked her up at a garage sale for three bucks and the buyer paid shipping on that one. The next item I sold is this real toy frontier airport playset. This came out of a mystery box and this sold really quickly for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. And the last item I sold is this Veggie Tales Big Idea 1998 Junior Asparagus and it's just a little plush toy. And I sold this for $18.75 and the buyer paid the shipping. Um, I will tell you that Veggie Tales from my experience, are a great bolo item. Um, I always pick them up when I see them and I've done very well with them. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.